Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd just take you through kind of like a regular day in my life. My routine definitely looks different right now because it's summer and I'm in school and I'm living on my own. So I figured I'd just take you along with me um, and show you everything that I get done in a day. We're gonna make dinner together later and it's gonna be so much fun. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. So first things first, my skin is getting better. It's taking its time, but those are kind of just mostly scabs. So I'm not super mad at it. Uh, for sake of time, I've already like done my hair and brushed my teeth. So the first thing that I do is I get up, I brush my teeth, get my hair done, um, and then I make my bed and go from there. I also place all of my clothes out the night before because when I get up to go to the gym, it's relatively early. Right now it is 6.23 um, and we have the gym booked for 7. So we're going to get everything done and head out the door really soon. So the lighting in my kitchen is not the best, but I've changed for the gym. Right now it's 6.38 and I'm going to leave in about 10 minutes. Um, this top is from Gymshark. My shorts are from Lululemon and my shoes are going to be from Nike. So I don't eat breakfast yet. I prefer to work out in the morning on an empty stomach. If I'm working out later in the morning, then I'll have a little something to tie me over. But it's just personal preference. I just don't enjoy the feeling of having like food gurgle around while I'm trying to work out. So we avoid that at all costs. I'm gonna take a little bit of pre-workout. I have like a few samples I've been trying, but I think I'm just gonna go with my OG. This is the Alani New in Mimosa. And I mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. I mix my pre-workout with water. It activates the ingredients properly. And it also just doesn't damage your teeth. So I'm just chucking in a little bit of water. So I'm about to head to the gym. I'm gonna take you with me, but I'm not gonna take you through my workout. I have my fitness Instagram where I post all my workouts. So if you wanna know kinda a sense of what I do, you can definitely check it out there. And then I'm gonna bring you through the rest of the day. My quality is gonna vary because I'm not gonna be lugging around this big camera all day. I'm gonna flip flop between this and my phone. Now it's time to leave for the gym. Got to my keys, got to my mask, um, and let's go hit this cardio sesh. Uh, we just arrived at the gym. I'm in the car park, so it's a little bit, like, dark. Um, I have decided to ditch my car for school and take TransLink, but I still take my car to the gym and everywhere else that I go because because I do. The only reason I'm taking TransLink for school is um, because of parking. There's like no parking and if there is, it's very expensive. So we're just gonna throw our mask on. You can't use lockers at the gym right now, so you have to come work out ready. So I just have my water bottle, my skipping rope, because it's cardio day, and my headphones. Okay, welcome back. We just got home from the gym. Now it's time for some breakfast. I just washed my face. As soon as I get home from the gym, I wash my hands, of course. And then I wash my face and I use a glycolic acid toner because I am super susceptible to bacterial acne and with the mask and the humidity, it's just like not a good pair. So, we're clean. These are my vitamins. The first vitamin supplement situation is my super greens. I cannot go a day without having super greens. They are essential. So if you're considering taking any type of supplement, the two that I would suggest to you are greens and then just protein. This is my cute little whisk. Okay, so I'm just taking this like little shot glass and my whisk and I'm mixing this up. I might spill. Lately I've been having protein oats for breakfast, but I have a half a banana in the fridge that I need to use. And then I also have a bundle of bananas that need to get used. So we're gonna make a smoothie. Another thing that I like to do before I go to bed at night is actually pack my lunch the day before. 
Um, I have some leftover kind of like deli meats that are about to go bad. So I'm just having a deli lunch. I have some leftover um, salad and then I'm bringing a protein bar and I am bringing some carrots and pepperoni. Let's try this. Hmm. Not too bad. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just clean up the kitchen and start getting ready for school. And then we have to go catch the bus. Just got ready really quickly. I just set down my eyebrows, put on a little concealer and mascara. That's like all I do, especially with the mask and like the heat, I'm not, I'm not with doing a full face. And then our school's dress code is all black. So here, let me show you the fit. This little top from H&M, it's their activewear line, it was actually gifted to me, so thank you H&M. And then I have the TNA Cheeky 7 inch Atmosphere shorts, I think. And then I'm gonna wear some Nikes right now. I just have my inside shoes on. So now I'm just gonna pack my bag. I have this big old bag. And then I like to wear this little crossbody. I keep my compass card in it, that's for the TransLink. And it's just easy, I put my phone in there, I put my keys in there, nice and simple. After school today, I'm going to take the bus home and then I have some errands to run. We're doing a return, we are going to find a cord and then I also wanted to check out Dynamite and Garage because they have some nice denim shorts. And I don't have any blue denim shorts, believe it or not. So I'm about to head out for the bus I have this app, it is amazing. It's called Transit. So it looks like this. There's this guy right here. And I have my school pre-plugged, so I just tap school. And it tells me exactly what bus I need to get on and at what stop and what time I'll get there. Amazing. Um, and then usually I get there a little early and there's a Starbucks just down the road, so I might stop and get a coffee today. Okay, so I just got off the bus. I'm almost at my school. I decided I didn't want to stop for Starbucks today because I already have my smoothie and I'm trying to save some money. So we're just gonna head to class. Okay, so we're back home. I took the bus, of course, back home because I didn't have my car, so I needed to get home somehow. Just kind of finished sticking all of my dishes in the sink. I kind of want to get out and get all my stuff done as soon as possible so that I can like take time to make dinner. Um, I have some watermelon here in the fridge, so I'm just gonna have a little bit of that before I go. Hey everybody, so I am about to head home. I'm just downtown right now. There's like no more meter street parking, so I had to do a few loops. So it's 5.30 right now. I'm hopefully gonna get home by like 5.45, 6, get dinner started, and I'm gonna be eating a later dinner tonight, but that is... That's okay. Welcome to Cooking with Phoebe. We're making dinner tonight. I really wanted some chicken yakisoba, so that's what we're gonna make. Hi, eat. So I made rice yakisoba noodles with a veggie stir fry that has like broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, bok choy, sprouts. And then I put oven roasted chicken on top with teriyaki sauce, hot sauce, ginger, garlic, and soy sauce. And then I have a little Zevia zero calorie soda. I am so ready to dig into this. Like, are you actually kidding me? Look at this. Oh, and there's green onions on top. <gasps> Dudes, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so I just finished eating dinner. I'm probably gonna have a little yogurt bowl or cereal or something later tonight. The goal is to get to bed by 10 though because I have a nice early gym session booked and I just want to get on a better sleep schedule so today was pretty busy. I'm quite tired. I'm just sitting down and editing because I finally have the proper means of getting footage onto my computer from my camera. Thank goodness. So I'm editing my moving vlog right now. If you've already seen that, definitely go check it out. I'll link it down below. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time and sending lots of love. Good night.